and my name is Bobby Heath and I wanted to show you my book on making felt hats. I'm going to show you today um, just a little bit about how we form felts and about felts, which it will all be in the book. You'll be able to read about it and you'll see all the stitches that are required, all the equipment that's needed, um, which I've tried to keep to a minimum because um, blocks for hat making can be expensive and I've tried to um, improvise and give ideas as to what other blocks can be used, things around the house and um, just, yeah, with a, with a little bit of imagination. So um, let me start and show you that um, how the felts come. These are, wool, these are wool felts and they come and you can see they're almost ready formed. That one's very nearly a hat in its own. And that's called a capelin. And that one, which is shorter and hasn't got the skirt on, is called a cone. So the hat I'm going to show you today is the floppy hat, which is the one on the cover of the book. Very, very sort of 60s twiggy, but is still very, very much in style today. And it is the simplest, um, the simplest hat to make. So with felt, felt um, hat making, you need a lot of steam. You can't have too much steam. So you can use a generator or um, a kettle that's been, that you put the something on the off switch, which is not the best idea, but it's, um, it's something that you could use. I've got just an ordinary steam iron here today, um, just to show you a little bit about how it, how, how it works. And um, I've got, I started by making one earlier. So what I did was I've got my block, which is a wooden, which is a wooden block, an oval block. It's a very old one, it's about as old as I am, I think. Looks like it anyway. Um, and I put it on a little stand, which makes life a lot easier. Then what I've done is I've got the cable in the hand and you have to be careful um, with the steam and I've steamed I've steamed inside and I've kept on steaming and steaming and steaming and steaming you can't you can't over steam and this softens the fibers in the felt and it makes it allows you to pull your capelin over. So you pull it over and ease it down and it gets nicely into shape. I pin this and now I've put elastic around it to keep it, keep it in shape. I'm going to get my trusty salad bowl, which used to have a, a foot on it, but I took the foot on it and sandpapered it. And I'm going to use that as the brim because it makes a really nice hat brim. You can also make a really nice salsa, salsa brim for a wedding hat. So it's very versatile. Pop that there. Take, take my crown off there. And I'm going to sit him in the middle of my brim. Nice and secure. You can put um, masking tape, rolls of masking tape up underneath um, if you'd like to, because and then it stops, stops your hat block shifting. And then what you do is you really steam the brim all the way around. Then you put your hand again. Put your hand against the side and you drag the felt out. in and drag it again and drag it you see how how much it can give Let's pin it in place so that it doesn't pop back again but if I turn it round there and I shall show you 
and his princes, and his lines. I haven't secured my block on and so it's starting to move a little bit but this this is just a quick a quick demonstration because it's all all fully illustrated and explained in the book um, step by step instructions and and also little tips and things that you can have so. and you just keep steaming and stretching so you can see it's beginning to flatten out and take shape and then you just trim it off in a lovely nice round and you have your um, hat and then you can trim it with all sorts of things I mean I just found an old tie which I thought was quite pretty actually you could, you could, well, you could almost tie round Cut the end off. Oops. You've got a really nice, or you can put a rose, put a rose on it. Another rose. Looks quite striking. So it looks quite nice that, and a um, little black rose on the side. Look, look quite sweet. Right. Anyway, everything's in the book, and. Um, I just hope I've given you a little bit of a taster and an introduction into my lovely world of millinery.